Hello everybody, this is Flambo5 here, and today we're going to be playing SimCity again. I know I kind of stopped this, I, well, not really stopped, but I never really, you know, continued on with this series. And I know the video kind of just stopped, and, uh, yeah, I want to continue the series on, so we're just going to, we're just going to start a whole new one up. I don't know what happened to the last one, I think I deleted it. <laughs> anyway, so anyway, we have a few options, we have Cape Trinity, Whitewater Valley, and then several others. Uh, everyone needs to get Titan Gores, but now, it's like several months later, I've, I've come back and they have two more. They have Edgewater Bay and Granite Lake. So let's look at Granite Lake. Alright. Mm, okay. Let's... I probably... I haven't done this one yet, so let's, let's actually do this one. I'm gonna name the region, uh... Private region. Next. Okay, we're gonna have to look at these. These are our different city options. So we got this option. Uh, water's okay. No oil. We've got some ore. We've got some coal. Looking pretty good. Pretty flat too. Okay, we've got this one's got some oil. Not really any ore. Bit of water. Bit of wind. Actually, how much wind does this guy have? He has enough. Um, lots of water equal amounts of ore and coal pretty much. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with this one. I kinda like the idea of this one, sort of, if that makes sense. Cause it's right next to the water, I like having it right next to the water, but it's not that big of a deal, let's just continue, yeah, climb this one. I've never played this before, so I'm probably not gonna... It's called Thunder Ridge. Educated sims are less likely to accidentally start a fire or get sick. Pretty awesome. This is going to take a second. Wait, I'll be right back when this is done loading. Okay, so we're back. Now, from what I can tell, uh, we have an okay area here. This is pretty flat so we have basically two areas we have the low area we have a nice you have a nice thing here we can put a road up there yeah I mean you can probably put a, that road will probably go up here and then it'll go like along the side here and then it'll probably go down here and we can put some stuff up here anyway so before we really do anything I want to just check the um, wind it's a nice thing to do Alright, so by the looks of it, we're probably going to put most residential up here, maybe around here, over here. You want to put it the residential on the far end, the opposite way the, the wind is pointing. So wherever the wind is pointing, that's the further that direction, the more industrial you want it, you want it to be. Because industrial per causes lots of pollution, and you don't want it up here, because then you'll have all this pollution just flying right above your sims. So you don't want that. So let's just turn off our wind. So we have... Good amount of money. Let's just get started right away. So we're gonna want to start with residential. So let me just zoom in here. Uh, we're gonna start with a low density road. Keep it, you know, simple. Okay, there we go. Probably actually too close to put any houses here. So we'll probably just keep this nice forested area. And maybe the road might expand, so that's a good thing. And in fact, we'll probably want to keep uh, get one of these curvy. Curvy roads. And we'll, we'll work on that later. For now, I just want to get, you know, get some houses in here, make it look kind of nice-ish. Let's just cover this entire area. And it goes up to there. And then on this side, um, this, we're not actually going to be able to fill, so I'm not going to put that in. Uh, and then it becomes not red, which is about here. So it kind of, there's not really much space for there are two houses like on both sides of the street just because of the terrain but we can deal with that it's okay 
There we go. Now we're gonna get start eating some houses. Now they probably want a couple shops, right? So might as well put some shops in. Yeah, that's all the commercial we'll need. For now, not forever. You can't just you can't live with two shops in an entire town. That's not really that accurate, but looks like we're doing pretty good. Are we getting some houses up here? Yep, alright, there you go. Some up here. Not many down here for some reason. Don't know why. Yeah, it looks fine. Anyway, industrial demand is going up, so down at this end, this area, this entire area is, is industrial pretty much, from the looks of it. Water. Okay, uh, there's lots of water up here, but that, ah, that's going to be industrial, ah, that sucks, because then that the industrial is just going to pollute all this water, so we have to put it, like, up here. looking pretty good, so we're doing pretty good so far. Alright, oh, I'm a kind of newbie at this game, I haven't played in quite a while. Ah, okay. I'm just kind of waiting for, there's really much demand, so we might as well, we can't put down the, it's not approved yet. Oh, we need, provide working, power, provide working water. So if when we get power, then we'll be able to, um, so I'm going to probably get this. So I can need a little more commercial. Uh, this area is also is probably going to be commercial. We'll make like a little little circle area somewhere. Let's just finish up these roads, pretty much. I think that that'd be the best option. Ah, it's not really what I really want to do. There we go, right there. Now we're getting a negative on um, on power. This is kind of a weird shaped road and it's that's okay it's kind of supposed to be so that's yeah there that that's kind of interesting kind of like that like, it's pretty steep It's nice. Anyway, so we're probably gonna put some, maybe a bridge down here somewhere. No, probably not actually. I only want there to be like one entrance, so it's gonna be low density the entire time. So it's gonna be really, really crowded, and everyone's just gonna get really, really mad about it. Okay, I'm gonna move this guy over here. Crap! They keep building. Oh, town hall already. 
So we're gonna want our own little area for town town hall. And I say that that area should be uh, right around here somewhere. I think. Let's see. There you go, that's pretty nice. Now we can put the town hall on here. Now, um... Alright. This did take up some area. So I'm probably going to put a lot of stuff in here. I want to put something in there that I don't know quite what would fit. Oh, what the... You know what I could probably put in there? That I do want to put in there is a park. Just to make everyone happy. This is apparently very small. So I want a big one. I want parks in here. We'll probably put several parks in there. That sounds nice. Anyway, time to name our city. Let's call it, um... I don't know. Flame... Flaming Town. No. Yeah, Flaming Town. Well, wait, the E is not supposed to be there, right? Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, we're losing money right now. Let's just call it that. Probably spelled wrong. If it's spelled wrong, tell me in the comments. Anyway. So I think we're doing pretty good. We just need some money. And for money, we need taxpayers. So I'm going to put in some taxpayers. <laughs> Uh, okay, and this, along this entire road, we're gonna want. There we go. That's this is gonna be a residential thing. And we're also gonna want a lot a big neighborhood probably in here. We've got town hall, so along town hall along the sides here what we could do is put in commercial sounds like a good idea to me this will be the expensive part of town okay Alright, so one thing that I'm actually scared of that I totally forgot is ore. Oh, hmm, so it looks pretty good. That'll actually work pretty well because we can just put an ore mine right there. That'll work. So we'll keep this, this area will be ore mine. There we go. So I think that is about it for this episode. It's, I think it's running a little long. I don't know exactly. I can't keep track. And you know what we're going to do? We're just going to turn this up to cheat to speed. I always forget to do that. But anyway. So yeah, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in episode two. So, uh, bye, guys.